Alright, hey, so here's a video on how to take out your optical disk drive from an HP Slimline uh, computer. Um, most of the cases are pretty much the same. The only difference is the probably the um, internals, like the what's it called. I don't know if the motherboards are the same, but I know some come with an Intel processor, blah, processor, and some come with an AMD Anthem. So mine's an AMD. So yeah, uh, and I also tried taking my pocket media drive bay out, but it didn't really happen, and I accidentally snapped that little uh, clip off. So yeah, but on to taking your optical disc drive out. Um, it's actually pretty simple. Um, so first off, you want to make sure your computer is off, um, but I'm too lazy to turn it off and turn it back on, so I'm leave my running. Um, I'm not actually going to take it out, but I'll show you the steps to do so. In the back here, you'll have a YC cable, which is this red cable right here. This red cable right here. This one. And then you also have another cable that, well, not cable, but wires or whatever, connecting to your power supply. So you want to just, uh, oops, touch the fan there. Um, so you want to take those both out. Um, it's pretty co uh, much common sense on taking these out. Um, the YC cable, it has a little, um, it's a little, uh, what's it called, like a little clip kind of thing. You push down on that and then pull it out. Um, power supply, you just pull it out. The power supply plug connector, whatever. All right. Then your next step is to take this whole uh, front plate off. Um, this is also pretty simple as well. For the top, um, you will find a pin like this right here. This thing right here. This little that you see on the camera. And then further down, you'll see another one of those. For the top, you want to pull it up for this side and push it down. So, like this. Just push up on that, pull it up, and then pull this out. And then stick your finger or whatever in there, screwdriver or whatever. Push the other one down, and then top should come out like that. As for the bottom, um, it's the opposite, but you'll also find two pins, uh, clips, whatever you want to call it, down here. Now for these, you want to um, squeeze in, and then your faceplate should come out like this. Um, this is actually the whole set. The actual faceplate is right here. Um, you can take this off by... You see the little clips there. You want to take those, push those clips or whatever, and then you get your faceplate off. Alright, so then there's a little uh, latch here, or whatever you want to call it. Pull that, and then just slide your discharge straight out the front. Alright, um, since I have the cables connected and my computer's still running, um, I don't know what happens, well, what will happen if I disconnect it or like that. So I'm not going to do that, but. If you do, if you do have everything removed, um, it should slide right out the front. Um, so, yeah. And reinstalling, you just slide it back in, and it locks in place like you just saw there, just like that. Now it will lock on the first one, so you wanna push it and then pull it out again, and then pull push it in some more until it locks on the second one. So yeah. And then you just reinsert your faceplate piece here. Just snap it in. Alright, and then reconnect your uh, YC cable and your cable that leads to your power supply. Then you're all set. So, yeah. That's it. Um, still trying to figure out how to get this off, but can't really figure it out. And I don't feel like wasting my time. It's like, it's 12.08 in the morning right now, so. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. Don't really make video responses that often, but I guess I made this one just to be, just thought it'd be helpful and make this. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I feel like pulling this out too. I have no use for that modem. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.